our new wheels are in. We're going with some method wheels here. The, this is the part number if you guys want to know what style wheel this is. All the information is here. They're 17s by 8.5 and they're in matte black uh, color. So let me show you guys. I'm going to open one of these boxes up and show you guys the wheels. Alright, this is an unboxing here. There's our wheel. There's a reveal right here. Brand new wheels, man. Damn. Comes with the center cap and all. Here's our center caps. There's our wheel. So we did buy the black machine screws. Because I don't really like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like the look of off-road vehicles with this bead around it. To me, it looks like it's just like rhinestones when you have rhinestones on your pants. No offense to anybody that likes that, but it's not really my taste. I want it all to be all black, so I'm going to be taking all of these out and putting the new ones all black or all the way around. Also from Method, so... Here's the style. So I'll show you guys. <clears throat> I'm not going to show you guys on all the wheels, just on this one. So we're also going to be installing our tire pressure monitors. Um, this is a part number if you guys need it here. The tire shop, I called various tire shops. They charge a lot to put these in. I bought these... I think they were like $10 a piece and uh, tire shops want like $40 a piece plus the installation of them plus the programming of them so it comes out pretty expensive so I'm going to show you guys real quick how you can install your own tire pressure sensors obviously if you have the wheel not mounted very easily with the special tool so so the orientation of it it's going to be like this here so it has a little screw right there that has to be removed it's a little torque screw we removed it so that's all that's left right there uh, on the back side I'm gonna take the little cap off now in order for us to push this through it's really hard so you got to get one of these little tools here I think I paid like 10 bucks for this just screw it on there Screw it in as much as you can. And then we're going to use some leverage on the side of the tire here. I mean, on the side of the, yeah, on the side of the wheel. And we're just going to pop it in. There we go. Take it off. Put our cap back on. So that's in there, put our cap back on. You can see it from the other side here. There you have it. Now we're just gonna screw it. We're gonna screw our sensor back in on this location here. These are our black ones. We're just gonna be replacing these here. There you have it. So let's take all these out. All right. This is the final look. This is exactly what we're going for. I don't know if you guys get a good shot right there. There we go. All black. All right, UPS just dropped our tires. We're going some, with some Federals Coragia mud tires. These are going to be 285 70 17s. They measure about a 33 inch tire with a 17 inch rim. So. 
I'm gonna go ahead and load all this up along with our wheels in the truck before they close up the tire shop. That way I can get all these installed already today. Everything's loaded up. I'm gonna have to run this with the cover a little bit open. Luckily, the tire shop's right across the street, so I won't have to wait too much like this. I'm not very good at Tetris, as you can tell. Got to probably put the wheels over here and everything. <laughs> Here's the new look with the new tires nicely mounted. 285 7017s. Method wheels. So, all we got is a two inch uh, leveling kit here by Rough Country. We got absolutely no rubbing whatsoever. Nothing in the front, no rubbing whatsoever in the back here. So. I can do full turns, no problems. We got just a tad bit, I wanna say like a inch, inch and a half, that pops out. Same with the back, nice and straight. It has no wheel spacer, so this is just with the wheel and tire by itself. Thank you guys for watching. That's going to be it for this video. It's just a quick video of showing you guys the tire. So stay tuned. There's a lot more coming up. Make sure to support the channel by checking out the website. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the new setup here. That's going to be it. Stay tuned for next time.